Hello chess lovers, so we're in here and right now I am on leechess.org I am looking at a game played by Zavin Andreasian who is playing under a nickname Zavin Grozny 007 I don't know what those numbers mean but we have a bullet game and he is playing against set dance rated 2346 Andreasian managed to open up the G file. Now let's see. At some point, if he can bring his queen on h4, that will be magnificent. But now the bishop is coming. The bishop is coming. I'm sorry, what's wrong with the arrows? Oh, I don't think that this exposed. Oh, damn, that was a move, but he found that bishop takes f4 move. Okay. But right now, okay, and what about this move? What about knight takes e5? Yes, yes. This knight is also coming, and yeah. Bishop takes f4 was a nice save by Andreasian. Will he go for knight f3? Yes, knight f3 is on the board, and set dance resign resigned. This was set. This was a set finish. Let's... Go for another game. Okay, Slavin Grozny is playing against Vinivin. Vin. If I'm not mistaken, I have played a lot against Vinivin. Vin. Yeah, I think so. With my second profile, I guess I have played a lot against Vinivin. Vin. Well, it has a strong bishop pair, and I think that this should be great. Oh, damn. Double attack. Double attack and black is losing a piece. Black is losing a piece. White can simply go for several exchanges. Yes, yes, Andreasen is going for it. He will simplify the position, I guess, and then easily will manage to win the game. Okay, he can also exchange the queens. Why not? Why not? Yes, the game is over. The game is over. Another win by Andreasen. Did he disconnect from the... Yes, Andreasen has disconnected, right? Okay, we should come back next time and have a look what's going on. Okay, guys, another game. Andreasen is playing again with the white pieces. This time his opponent's rating is 23.32. But now Andreasian pushed the h pawn forward, opened up the h file, and now he's trying to organize a quick attack. Let's bring this here, and in order to get a better view of the board, okay. White will now castle queen side. Yes, both players castle queen side. I was thinking for some. Bishop a6 moves, but right now it's too. What about. Yes, Andersen is playing on the king side actually. Knight goes on f5. Knight goes on f5. Still, black is holding, but I don't think that black will manage to hold this position. What about bishop e6 and rook f7? Will that give white anything? Mm. Now, yes, too many weaknesses in black's camp. What about capturing on... Okay, first c5, of course. Can he protect this? No, he went for queen takes g3. Why didn't black capture on c5? I was thinking about that move. But okay, now how is black going to fight against this g-pawn? And it looks like that he will also lose the pawn on d4. Who will favor this rook endgame? I guess... White should manage to convert the advantage because white has a uh, white has an extra pawn. Shall we finally see the exchange of queens? No, black is rejecting because that can be terrible. Still, black is holding, but black is down on time, and Andreasen just is just playing on time. Okay, this time he will exchange the rooks. First check, I guess. Okay, now he will exchange, and the game is over. 
playing. Okay, I this is already going to become very interesting. Andreasian is playing against Alexander Zubov from Ukraine. Yes, this is definitely going to be interesting. Andreasian went for King's Indian setup. And let's see. Zubov is actually very strong. This is their all in all score. 5 to 3. Zubov is leading, right? Zubov is leading. And let's see. Why didn't white capture on c3 straight away? There might have been some queen c5 moves. I'm not sure. Now, what do we have? Queen d8, right? Queen d8. Ah, queen d7. There is also a knight in here. Ah, queen d8 could have been met with queen takes. No, no, no. There was a rook. There was a rook. He could have exchanged the rooks and then go for it, right? I guess. I guess that was the problem. He could have exchanged the rooks. Are playing so quickly that I'm not managing to see what's going on. Oh, yes, yes, that's terrible. This is going to be terrible. Right now, there is a mating thread. White is. I am sorry, black, black is both down on time and also with a lost position, yes. Why was, why is Zubov pre-moving? I can't understand, the rook on d1 was actually hanging. Why is he pre-moving? Okay, this is the pawn is coming and the game is over, I actually don't know. Why is he still pre-moving? And yeah. Checkmate is on the board. I hope that you managed to see how those queens were moving all over the board. Now Andreasian is with the white pieces. Black went for Pierce defense and Andreasian chose Austrian attack. Well, I'm sorry, that was modern defense and Austrian, Austrian. Austrian type attack was played. Knight takes e5 and white castles kingside. Bishop h6 is not allowing to castle king side, but let's see. Black castled queen side. Risky decision. Risky decision. Now bishop takes a6 is coming. Okay. Now he will try to bring more forces on the queen side, right? But Black's queen side is still solid, yes. He's winning the pawn on b2 square. Black's queen side is still very solid. You will he go for rook takes e5? Yes, rook takes e5, but soon another queen will appear on the board. What, what shall we? No, okay. Oh, okay, this is even queen take. Uh, uh, yes, yes, this is nice. Nice, nice job, Zavan. Nice job. Shall we see another game? Yes, d4 was played. Andreasen goes for Slav. And we have like French defense type positions with bishop on g6. No problem at all for black. F takes g6. I didn't expect that move, but Andreasen opened up the f file. f file is opened up. First is knight. Knight is coming on c6, right? Right. I was thinking for b6, c4, but okay, Andreasen had different ideas. He knows better what's going on. Rook f7 should be played, yes. What about this move? Can he trap? Wait, why did it? Ah, yes. <laughs> but what was wrong with King G6, guys? I don't know. I didn't manage to see it. Okay, we'll check out later. This rook endgame should be winning, I guess. This rook endgame should be winning. White, black has so many extra pawns, and 
Andreasen manages to convert. Will manage to convert. I guess that's okay. Another pawn drops. Now you will come after the pawn on a4 square. Yes. Meanwhile, white is grabbing some pawns, but push that. Push those pawns forward. Yes. What about capturing with a check? Nice job. Nice job, sir. She will capture on h6 as well. Nice job. Now 41 spectators, we have 41 spectators. Any other game? Shall we see another game? 6-5, Zubov is still winning. This is their all-in-all -all score, under Asian is online, Zubov left the chat, left the website. Let's wait for another game. Shall we see another game by under Asian? Okay, let's enjoy another game. French defense, knight f3 is coming, no, no. We have a variation with the late exchange. Ninety two. Yeah, yeah. Bishop have four, right? Both players now have two knights. E three preventing any. And this is going to be an end game with some boring consequences. Andreasen, you should definitely find something interesting. At a particular moment, I think he could have go for knight b5 earlier. Yes, he can capture on c a7. No, c6 can be played, and then and then rook a8. Okay. Can white come after this pawn at any point? I'm not sure. But well, this is how it goes when you are playing this boring exchange the French guys. This is how it goes. Now Andreasen is making some waiting moves. Not really, not really. Can he come after the pawn on a6? But Black also wins the pawn on a5. And let's see who is going to be faster. We have pawn and game. Oh, nice job, nice job. Black blocked all the possible ways of white king. And now, yes, yes, this is going to be winning. Now he will pick up this pawn and the game is over. The game is over. Bull light. Bull light. Andreasen is playing against bull light. Let's have a look at this game as well. Okay, finally he's winning that pawn on e5 square. What? What? What just did... <laughs> what just we saw, guys? What just happened was beyond... Queen takes e3 was also a good idea. No, 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 no. No. Now this queen is in trouble. Should always safeguard the pawn on g2 square. Sorry. Let's bring it here like this. Okay, what's going to happen? Wow. Wow. Nice. Nice. Nice, but black found some resources, although queen is coming and yeah, it's over. There is a mating thread, but now this, no, 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 the other can always be first. We should open up a loop for the king and only then, and only then, think about attacking. What about some checks? Yes. Black, uh, white is also losing his rook and the game is over. The game is over. Zavan Grozny managed to win another game, but he got no rating points. No rating points. Okay, this much, dear friends. I hope that you enjoyed it. Tell me please whether I should still make some videos in this format. It will be interesting to know.
I'm a bit tired today. When tuning in, played several games, but I didn't record. And actually, today I played terribly. Okay, meanwhile, and uh, Andreasen is going to play another game. Let's bring it in here. Yes, I played terribly though. One, I guess five games today, but I was playing so terribly. Sometimes was managing to win only on time. And luckily I didn't even record those games. That was terrible. I'm a bit tired today. That looks like that Andreasen is in a good shape. Okay, yes, this is what you should do. When you are playing bullets, sacrifice on e6 and then capture on g6. Yeah, this is a total massacre, guys. This is a total massacre. He's not even capturing first castling and then and then with the rook. Oh my goodness. And then check. And then this is a Oh damn, damn, damn. This is not checkmate, but black resigned. Resigned King F8 can be played, but okay. Let's play another move. Andreasen is playing against Fide Master the Errant. Sicilian defense. Will he go for open Sicilian or closed lines? Okay. He went for Rosolimo type positions. And let's see. Can't you simply capture? Yes, that was a mistake by the Errant. That was an Aranaos move. I hope that I managed to pronounce that word correctly. Look at this brutal center. This is cube, cubical. Cubes. Let's remove those arrows. And yeah, sir, it's so, well, is black down two pawns, right? I guess, yeah, finally he captured on a4. What was he thinking? I guess he was just drinking coffee. I just, he was just drinking coffee. Let's wait for Andreasen to reach 28 rating. And then I will stop recording and go on with editing. What is this? Knight a5, queen b5. Wait, I was thinking for a move like knight d7 and then and then knight b6. Yeah, more pieces are dropping. Nice counter attack. Wow, 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 what is this bishop doing, guys? Okay, okay. Mr. Aranaos didn't even manage to see how many pieces were hanging. And okay, yes, Andreasen won on time. It smells like there should be a checkmate somewhere around here, but okay. Only one point for winning that game. Andreasen only gained one, only one point for winning that game. That's terrible, guys. It's when you have such a high rating, it's very difficult to raise a rating. Yes, that's actually very difficult. You are winning, for example, 20 games, and for each game you are getting like one elo points. And then suddenly you are making a mistake losing and that's becoming really very terrible. Really very terrible. This this smells like should be bad for white. I think so. I don't think that this can be good for white. Now this rook is coming. Oh damn, you lost your piece sir. And you lost your piece. Go rook h4. Okay, the bishop was hanging, but now go for rook h4. Don't pay attention to these pawns. Capture on hf3. Yes, yes. Three points. This time Kadirakin lost and Andreasen got three elo points.
I guess he's rated right now among the best top 10. Sneaky Nathan is playing neither variation. White is going for this G3 that line. Sneaky Nathan, but Andresan is a great expert. Will he go for Rook H4? Yes, he went for it. He went for it. I love such crazy moves. Knight F4. What about... Wow, wow, those guys are going for exchange sacrifice in the way like they are Petrosian. Now bishop g4 is the threat. Okay, bishop g4 and what is white going to do with this king? Ah, queen g5, there was a queen g5, but... 95, go 95, please, 95. Okay, he removed the defender. At least right now you should go for 95, seven. Not really, not really, he doesn't want to... Go for those moves and go for knight h4. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm managing to guess his moves. Penetrate with your with your king. But uh, this is already a fight, guys. This is already a fight. And though this knight is very tricky, but white can actually give a tough fight. And Andreas and Premuth, though, yes, he wanted the pawn on e4 ah that's sneaky yes knights are always sneaky the game is over guys the game is over shall we see another game my name is atma who is this guy atma is watching from canada marielita is also watching okay guys 2796. Shall we see the last game? At least can we reach up to 2800 rating points? Go for it, Zavin. Go for it. Yes, yes. But I don't think that winning this guy can only give Andreasan only, I don't know, one point or won't even give that point. 2799 right now. And. Let's see what's going to happen. This queen side attack should be devastating. Go for h6, yes, h6. Now he wants to capture and then on d4, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Mr. Road Raider is losing his pawns one after another. Why didn't he capture with the bishop? I'm not sure. Maybe that was the right choice. I don't know. Bring your rook, please. If here. Ah, okay, but now how is... What about now rook h8 finally? But now how is white going to stop this b-pawn? b-pawn is unstoppable. b-pawn is unstoppable. Go for it. Yes. Queen b1. Not even queen b... Go for b1, please. Yes. Checkmate, please. Yes. Okay, guys. 2800 rating. We have it already. Alright, now Zavan is ranked 10th. Only chess. This much, guys. I'm really very tired. Can't record anymore. Should also do some editing work. I hope that this was interesting for you. And I will see you in the next video. Good luck.